All right, so let's go into the beautiful tool that you guys have built. How do you automate this? I actually don't know where I was at. Okay, all right, so um, yeah, actually, let me just move this slide over and we, we can just talk through uh, those scenarios. Cool, so let's say we are running on an auto campaign. We want to uh, stop running on poor performing keywords. So we don't want to spend money on things that aren't getting us sales. So, sorry. okay. So, uh, I have a lot of rules in here just from demos. Um, there's literally pages of, of rules just from, uh, setting up these demos. So let's say that either in Amazon or in kinetic, in kinetic, you have the ability to set up an auto campaign. It's, it's pretty easy. You just go to create campaigns, name the campaign, set it to an auto automatic targeting campaign and you're good to go. So let's say that you already have an auto campaign running and you want to start doing some optimization to it. You would come over to one, you can do it manually. Uh, we have search terms tab here, which pulls in all of your search term data and you don't need to go in and pull search term reports. You can adjust the dates and so forth. This is just some dummy data or you can do it uh, programmatically, automatically. So we have these templates that make it very easy. Um, so let's say that we, again, want to uh, work with search terms non-performing, so non-performing search terms. So come in here and click this. All the rules are already set up for you, essentially. So it's saying, hey, well, uh, it's a little different than what I described. So there, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. So you'll name it. So you'll say, auto, let's just say auto campaign, no sales. Okay, so for keywords, if the search term is a keyword, because you can deliver for ASINs as well, but if it is a keyword, and just for the sake of simplicity, I get more than uh, 14 clicks, uh, greater than or equal to, so I get at least 15 clicks, and my PPC orders is equal to zero, so basically, hey, if I get 15 clicks or more and no sales, then I want you to add it as a negative, okay? It's pretty simple. You select the destination, it's the same uh, for where it was found. You can add it as a negative, either exact match or phrase match. So save that. Uh, we're gonna run this daily, looking at basically the last uh, 30 days of data, starting two days ago. Uh, Amazon takes a while for the data to update. And you're going to select which campaigns to run on, or you can run it on specific uh, ASINs. So we're just going to run on a single uh, campaign and uh, auto campaign XYZ as an example. Save it and save and run in automatic mode. So boom. So now, instead of going through your search term reports, looking for all those keywords, those search terms that you're just wasting a ton of money on, now it's automatically going to... Uh, add those as a negative for you. So once it hits that threshold, it's no longer going to waste that money for you. So pretty simple, um, pretty straightforward. The more willing you are to kind of get comfortable with the rules, because there's so much you can do with this, uh, we made it like very powerful, um, the better off you are going to be. So let's just create one more search term rule. Let's just say. And uh, the, so if we go back to our presentation, um, breakout high performing low volume search terms to trail blizzard campaign. Okay. So, uh, high performing. Do you have email alerts? No, not yet. If you do that, I can hook up to Zapier. Hmm. Yeah. That, that then I can take, as long as you do it in a structured way, now I can do so much yeah. with you. And then if you hook into Zapier, just, oh my gosh. So but now I we know. can features that you might not even have and then if a lot of people are doing it then, oh hey we should build that right now our email alerts are only based on uh organic rank position sponsored ad rank position bsr uh reviews buy so, box yeah so high performing auto low search volume okay so again like we said for those keywords that are doing well in our auto campaign that are getting sales that are low search volume, we're gonna break them out to the Trailblazer campaign, which we talked about. So if it's a keyword uh, and it's gotten at least one sale, 
and it is the ACOS. You, you could say is less than or equal to, let's just say 20% or whatever, you know, whatever it, uh, goal you have in place. You can set goals on a campaign um, or you could do break even for the ASIN. Uh, so below my target ACOS, for, for the sake of this example, let's just say the goal is 30% ACOS. Um, and the search volume is less than 2,000. Okay, so for low volume uh, keywords that have gotten at least one order and it's within our profitability goal, those we wanna put in our Trailblazer campaign. So we're gonna do this daily and uh, it's gonna use data. Search volume. What was that? You just, I swear, cause you said search volume. I'm just not aware of how, I know you guys had data from Amazon at one point. Yeah. So you're gonna use like some adjusting algorithms now to base off of that past year data, just so people yeah. know like. Yeah. So, oh, so, so what we're doing is, uh, yeah, we have that old data. Um, and then we are looking at like current data for those keyword markets, like uh, sales volume, review trends and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we are also looking at brand analytics. So brand analytics shows you, you know, this keyword is more popular than this keyword or whatever. Um, so those things combined, we feel pretty good about what we have for search. Volume. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes, yeah, I'm sure it's very close. Can never be perfect, but okay. So, uh, we are going to add it to an ad group. Let's just say, uh, trailblazer campaign right here. Again, just another example. You can add it as phrase broad or exact or all three. Um, we're just going to add it exact match. Okay. And you get to decide if you want to add it as a negative from that keyword. So what some people will do is they will, say, okay, organic minty toothpaste delivered well in this auto campaign. Uh, I'm going to go put it in my manual campaign and I'm going to add it as a negative to my auto because I don't want it to spend any longer there. I'm going to go just advertise it here. Some people will do that. Some people won't. Um, if you want to, you can, you have the ability to do that right here. Uh, if you don't want to, you can just uncheck this box. Okay. Let's just say that we're going to do it and uh, we'll select the campaigns to run on run on campaign XYZ, save and run in automatic mode. So there's a couple things that I haven't described here. Um, so one is preview rule. This doesn't work. I'm in a demo account. This does not work in demo, but basically you would run this and you'll see all the impact that that rule would have had. So all the changes that rule would have made based on the last, uh, the data you specify here. Um, so you get a preview of what the impact would be. And so if it doesn't look like you would expect, then you probably shouldn't run the rule. You should go in and make sure the rule is set up the way that you want. Uh, but if it does, now you feel a little more comfortable, like this is actually going to run the way you want. So let's say you want another degree of safety here. You can run in manual mode. And basically what this does is it will now, we have another tab up here called rule activity, which will then show you, hey, this keyword hit, uh, or this search term trip this rule. Uh, I'm going to move it to this exact match campaign. Uh, do you want to approve it? And you can either approve or deny those ones. Again, so now it's not doing the automations, but it's it's doing part of the automation for you. You know, it's finding uh, the scenario for you. So let's just say we're going to run in automatic mode. Boom. Okay. So you can go through the rules. You can go through the scenario. Some people would do 15 clicks. Some people would do 10 clicks. Some people would do 20 clicks. You have the ability to change all of these uh, criteria as you're setting up your PPC uh, rules based on your campaign structure and the way that we set this up. So we have some templates, which are very easy to go in and set up. So for example, you know, when campaigns are running out of budget, we have a rule for that. Select the template template. And here it says, if um, I'm running, uh, if I'm hitting at least 90% of my budget every day and the it's profitable and I'm get, I've gotten at least uh, a sale, um, then increase my budget by 15%. So you just select which uh, campaigns to run on, press save, and now it's good to go. And it only took me you know, 15 seconds to set up this, this template. So uh, it's pretty easy to do, especially once you get comfortable with it. The coolest part is like, you know, now the sky's the, the limit. Your, uh, the success of this tool is dependent on you know, your strategy or kind of what you put into it. And uh, so we, we also have a bunch of trainings on like, here's the rules you should set up and so forth. But anyways, uh, like I said, you, your rule should largely follow your campaign structure. Brock was asking, what happens if, um, you know, I want to go to rank mode? 
uh, or whatever. So if you want to go to rank mode right now, there's no automation that says rank mode or, or profit mode. Um, but you have the ability to come in here and then uh, change what rules are running on each campaign um, so that you can have your we're, we're like we have a lot of features that are kind of planned here so that you could group these by you could have like a rule set. So a set of rules. Um, uh, we'll, we'll have this relatively soon. On rules or just folders of rules. So it will be like a rule set. So you could apply a rule set, think a folder of rules to a uh, campaign or a product. Okay, so one could be like your initial rule and then now one's like your top one. So like if ACOS gets above 50%, then like it, it'll kind of, that rule will kind of take over them. And then yep. now like, okay. Yep. So yeah, we're, there, there's still a lot to be done in the tool. Um, but at the very least, you're going to be able to save a lot of time by cutting out that wasted ad spend, breaking out keywords that are doing well. But again, the 80-20, you can do very easily in here. Um, but when you want to get deeper into the 80% that drives 20% of the results, like you can get really deep uh, with the functionality in here, which is cool. You know, you can set, you can set rules based on uh, your organic ranking. So, you know, if my organic ranking falls or, you know, increases, do this. If my ad position uh, is at a certain number, whatever, do this. Uh, some people do that, like, hey, you know, if I'm not in the first ad position, increase my bid, for example, right? So, so a, a lot of different things that you can do here. Well, if you add in Zapier, I could now add in basically my own rule where it says, if, if I make coffee and I say, jack up the sales, Alexa, then now it'll increase my ad spend. That's funny. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been playing around with Alexa, a bunch of automations. But yeah, this um, I'm really excited for this. Nice. Uh, okay, so what's notes? Let's see. Are those notes? per uh, campaign? This is a really basic feature right now. You can just come in here and add notes, and it keeps track of the day. That's it. Oh, okay, cool. Activity history. So these are all the changes that were made either programmatically or manually and who made them. Um, so you can see the system made it or if an individual user made it. I don't have any in here. Um, so for example, Drew Jordan made a change. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're, we'll be adding more of that uh, agency layer and you'll be able to see which user made the change to which campaigns and stuff. So. Oh. Excited. Rule activity, these are the ones to like approve or deny. Rules, we've already talked through that. Search terms. So the so coolest part about search- Templates with people. What? So can you share templates with people? No. Or no. like not make right it all? Not you can, you, right now you can't even create your own templates. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's a, yeah, well, I mean, this is still way ahead of anybody. Thanks, man. It's still pretty, pretty uh, new. I love it. This is, I mean, automation is, that's, that's where I'm going for the next 60, 80 years with my content and everything, uh, you know, life automation. And so part of that is business. Nice. So I'm very excited for this. Ooh. Awesome, man. Yeah. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions about the automations or want to see how want some ideas for rules, uh, I will be making them and, uh, let me know what you guys have ideas down there. Uh, and yeah, thanks Casey. Thank you, Brock.